All right, people, let's do this one last time. We've all started with Doctor Strange, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And now we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Even seeing those surprising scenes, the film was an absolute masterpiece, showing us there are way more Spider-Man than we expected. Although that cliffhanger in the end did make me shock. No wonder the spider that beat Mouse was glitching in the first movie. It was all connected. Speaking of connected, every Spider-Man has a lot of stories that are in common. The ones we knew include the spider bite, the deaths of their loved ones, having the love of their life, a connector story that makes someone into a villain, and the main point of the movie, a police officer that is close to Spider-Man dies. These are what we call canon events, which Miguel mentioned in the movie. Considering Miguel was the one who created this spider society that wanted to maintain the multiverse, Miguel also mentioned that he broke a canon once, causing the universe to get destroyed. But here's what I'm thinking, what was Miguel's canon event? According to Miguel, he found himself a universe where that version of him had been killed. He then replaced him because he wanted to live happy with his daughter. And then the whole universe collapsed, just like his daughter disappeared in his own hands. But then, was Miguel's death the canon event? Was he the one that needs to die? Speaking of canon events, Vulture crashed into Gwen's universe in the first scene of the movie, and when he tried to escape, Miguel said the line, But what was that canon event for? Was it for Gwen's universe or Vulture's universe? I mean Miguel replaced himself in the other universe and the universe collapsed. So does that mean if Vulture went to Gwen's universe will cause her universe to collapse? That doesn't make any sense, right? The whole point of the canon event was moments that must happen in the life of every universe Spider-Man. So does that mean that Vulture crashing into Gwen's universe was supposed to happen? Because Vulture just got randomly sucked into a portal while enjoying his coffee. Just like in the first movie where Gwen was swinging around in her own universe and all of a sudden, a random portal sucked her in sending her into Mouse universe. Unlike both Toby and Andrew, they got through Tom's universe with Ned using magic. That's why they're not glitching in No Way Home. We've also noticed that when Miguel was explaining the whole Spider-Verse franchise, we could see both Toby and Andrew's canon event, but we didn't see Tom's. Was it because Tom broke the canon? Sure enough, Miguel didn't mention him in the movie. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999.99. Was it because Tom actually broke the canon using spell or he didn't have his canon event yet? Makes sense because he broke the multiverse and MJ falling but instead Andrew saved her. Leaving me into a question, was MJ supposed to die? No. And here's why. The main reason why MJ falling was because of Green Goblin's grenade. But here's the point. Green Goblin was never supposed to be in Tom's universe. He was there because Tom broke the multiverse. So if Green Goblin wasn't in his universe, MJ would not fall. Same as what happened in Earth 5101, where Inspector Singh was trying to save a girl that was gonna get crushed, which was Pervita's canon event, but instead, Miles saved him, causing Pervita's canon to get disrupted. We've also noticed that in the poster where Miles was upside down, notice how Pervita looks a little bit different. He looks like he was glitching. What caused Spider-Man to glitch? That's right, them being in the wrong universe. Just like Miguel said, Pervita's dimension is unraveling, if you're lucky. We can stop it. We haven't always been lucky. Meaning that they never succeed in stopping any universe to collapse. Despite Miguel hating Miles for disrupting a cannon, he hates himself. Seeing Miles did the exact same mistake as he did. Just like Miles, we don't want our family to die. But just like Miguel, we don't want that universe to end. That's why Miguel doesn't want Miles to be part of the Spider Society. He was the problem. He was the one who created Spot. He was the one who caused Peter Parker's death. But was he supposed to be Spider-Man? Maybe. Here's why. When Spud brings a spider from Earth 42, we can see that the spider was going to beat someone with a braided hairstyle. Who was that guy? Well, he smiles from Earth 42. He was supposed to be bitten by the spider and become Spider-Man. But instead, Spud brings the spider that was supposed to beat him into another universe which is Earth 1610. That's why the spider went to Miles instantly because Miles was the chosen one. 
except he was in the wrong universe. So was the Spider-Man in Earth 1610 a mistake? We don't know, because the death of Peter Parker didn't cause any damage to Earth 1610, whereas Earth 42 became a total chaos. First of all, we can see Miles' spider sense changing from green and purple to red and blue. Now, I know what are you guys gonna say. This was the most obvious detail about Miles was meant to be the Prowler. And yes, I know that. But I do realize something. You see, we can see that in the scene where Miles was in a meeting with his teacher, his spider sense was red and green. Green. So does when he met Spider Bite, his spider sense was blue. And also this scene from Into the Spider Verse. So I don't think this scene was showing us that Miles was meant to be the prowler because of the green and purple spider sense, but rather to show us that both Spider Men are having a connection. Because we also know that Green Goblin was green and purple. So it's probably Miles sensing Green Goblin before meeting Peter Parker. This is just among my theory that I'll talk about on the next video. So let's go back on talking about canon events. What are they? Like I said before in this video, moments that must happen in the life of every universe Spider-Man. They had to happen for that universe to exist. But here's the thing, I have a lot of questions about this canon event things. First of all, if Miguel said that Miles was an anomaly, why was he supposed to have a canon event? Thinking about what Miguel said, anomaly destroys dimension that they're in. So would that explain that Miguel was an anomaly too? Like I said in the video, Miguel replaced himself in another universe causing the universe to unravel. Even though Miguel's technology does stop every Spider-Man to glitch in other universe, it doesn't allow them to be in the universe that they're not supposed to. That's why that universe unraveled. Miguel was the problem. He can't be in that universe. He was destined to be dead in that universe. But if we're looking in Miles' side, being called as an anomaly because he was bitten by the spider from another universe, which it wasn't supposed to happen, won't Earth 1610 collapse as well because it completely change the timeline unless it was supposed to happen because both earth 1610 and earth 42 didn't collapse at all it was perfectly fine there is no black hole appearing in both universe after the canon event was changed unless earth 1610 was self-correcting around miles making miles the new spider-man saving that universe which also causing earth 42 to have no spider-man saving that universe that's why in the last scene when when we see Earth 42 Miles, we can hear the TV in the background calling out Sinister 6. But here's what I'm thinking. If Earth 1610 was self-correcting around Miles, then who was Earth 42 self-correcting? There's no Spider-Man saving that universe. It was supposed to instantly unravel if the cannon was disrupted, which was the spider that was supposed to beat Miles, unless Earth 42 was also self-correcting but around Earth 42 Miles, making Earth 42 Miles an anti-hero. So technically, I think Miguel was not 100% right about this whole canon event stuff. Maybe he was scared to search deeper into it. His quick interaction with Gwen before sending her back to the universe kind of sells it. But the main point about all this conflict was Spot. He was the one who started all of this. How did Earth 1610 Miles become Spider-Man? Why was there for Spider-Man in Earth 5101? Who was after Miles' family? All of these are connected to Spot. If he didn't bring the spider from Earth 42, none of this would happen. Earth 1610 Peter would still be alive without sacrificing himself to make Miles to stop the collider. Earth 42 would also have a Spider-Man saving that universe. Earth 1610 Miles would just be a normal student while his uncle was identified as the villain. Talking about Uncle Aaron being the villain, if Miles didn't got bitten by the spider, I don't think he would be the prowler as well. Before Aaron died, he told Miles to look up on him. I want you to look up to me. Not as the prowler, but a good uncle. He hides the evil side of him from Miles because he doesn't want Miles to see him as the prowler. He doesn't want Miles to end up like him. He knows that Miles looks up to him. And because of that, he tries to be a good role model to him. He listens to Miles and gives him advice, helping him releasing his artistic side. And also, after Eren died, nothing happened to Earth 1610, which shows that that was a canon event for Earth 1610 Miles. Also, I 
think everyone from Earth 2 seems to be lacking or something. When he realized that Miles isn't his Miles, he didn't do anything. And when Miles was tied up on a punching bag, Aaron didn't hurt him at all. He just punched the side of the punching bag. I know all of us were super shocked watching this, thinking that Aaron kills Miles with the punch, but Aaron was just showing compassion. Both Miles and Aaron from Earth 2 did nothing when they realized that Miles isn't from their universe. They both don't have expressions at all. They look like they knew that this was gonna happen. We don't know. Anyways, I don't think that all of these canon events makes any sense at all after all those major chaos that happened in the movie. Unless this whole canon event that Miguel said was a lie that he made up. Remember, after Miles saved Captain Singh, Earth 5101 immediately collapsed. And when we look at Miguel's story, how did the universe got destroyed? It's because Miguel was in the universe that he was not supposed to. Makes me thinking that Miles saving Captain Singh was not the canon event that caused Earth 5101 to collapse. It was Miles, Gwen, Hobie, and Spot that wasn't supposed to be there trips the canon. As we all know that Miguel stayed with his daughter for quite a while and the universe collapsed. But Miles saving Captain Singh caused Earth 5101 to collapse immediately immediately, literal seconds after Miles saved him. So makes sense that Captain Singh's death wasn't a canon event, but the appearance of Miles, Gwen, Hobie, and Spot was the canon event. It makes so much sense right now. Miguel said they have always been lucky on stopping the universe to get destroyed. How did they do it? By sending multiple Spider-Man putting a cage to cover up the black hole, which makes it worse. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Strange was bought to the Illuminati in Earth 838. Stephen, your arrival here confuses and destabilizes reality. The larger the footprint you leave behind, the greater the risk of an incursion. The greater the risk of an incursion. This is what we're looking for. Incursion. When one person crosses into another universe, the two universes starts to blend into one. Everything starts breaking down until one of the universe is completely vanished. This is an incursion. It's a void of nothingness. That's why the Illuminati thinks that Doctor Strange being in their universe is a big risk. And yet, we got Problem Miles universe, the world without a Spider-Man was totally fine. No other people from other universe have made a step there. When Miguel crossed over to another universe, he tripped the universe into an incursion. In order to prevent others to make the same mistake like him, what did he do? He gathered Spider-Man from across the universe into Earth 928. But what he didn't know that he is making this even worse. So makes me think that canon events are a lie. They don't exist. But hey, even considering those confused using shocking scenes in the movie, the movie was still a 10 out of 10 for me. I've watched it 6 times and I still got goosebumps while watching it. It makes me feel like I'm in another world, a world where these cool characters exist. The sense of substitution in this movie was too strong. I can't stop recalling what I've seen in the theater. Anyways, that's all the theory I've had on this whole canon event thing. Hope you guys enjoy and stay love. Adios. I'm not Spanish by the way.